Hello everyone. Let us deal with the pest resistant plants. The scope of this topic is agricultural biotechnology. Let us consider the yield of any product as 100%. Out of this, all the 100% yield will not be available for human consumption owing to crop loss. Approximate crop loss can be shown with these five charts with the data from agencies involved in agriculture. As per the data, only 58 to 63 percent of the crop is available to humans. The rest of it goes to the share of weeds, pests and diseases. An almost equal proportion of 14 percent each. Among these three, we confine our discussion to pests. The term pest involves many creatures including birds, mammals and insects. Out of them, attack by insects are economically very significant. That is why biotechnological pest resistant approaches are targeting insect attacks. They are essentially insect resistant strategies. The commercialized approaches are focused on insects like Colorado beetle belongs to Coleoptera, tobacco budworm belongs to Lepidoptera, cotton ballworm belongs to Lepidoptera, pink ballworm belongs to Lepidoptera, European corn borer belongs to Lepidoptera and corn root worm larvae belongs to Coleoptera. Continuous efforts are in progress to widen this range of insects. This list clearly indicates pest resistance is summarily insect resistance. Genetical modification strategies for insect resistance are nothing but the bacillus thuringiensis approach. Bacillus thuringiensis was discovered by Ishiwaki in 1901 and it is named after isolating it from the gut of diseased floor moth larvae in Thuringberg, Germany. It is a rod shape, gram positive, aerobic, spore forming, endopathogenic bacterium, abbreviated as Bt. This bacterium produces an insecticidal crystal protein during sporulation. Because of their distinguished property, they got their name delta endotoxin. Separate from alpha, beta and gamma endotoxins produced by the same bacillus thuringiensis. These delta endotoxins show insecticidal pore forming exotoxic properties being crystalline in structure. Delta endotoxins are products of cry proteins. Here, cry refers to the crystallizable protein family. These cry proteins are coded by cry genes, which are very diverse in nature. They have been well characterized and classified into distinct families. 
The mode of action of delta endotoxins involves a specific interaction between the protein and the insect larva with gut. After ingestion by an insect larva, the protein crystals are solubilized proteolytically free to release active fragment of the protein. This active fragment of the protein binds to the membrane of the midgut. Then the crystal will form a pore to penetrate the epithelial cells. causing their destruction. Alkaline and acidic gut conditions of Coleoptera or Lepidoptera respond differently to a variety of these delta endotoxins. A generalized approach of recombinant DNA technology used to produce pest resistant plants is summarily shown here. Agrobacterium based transformation is used in this method. Pest specified cry proteins producing cry gene is incorporated into suitable vector. The further process result into the incorporation of gene into the plant genome. Now, these genetically modified plants will have inbuilt mechanism of protection against targeted pests. Currently, the most common Bt crops are corn and cotton. Advantages of BT crops They will have improved pest management, reduction in insecticidal use, greater net return, harmless for non target organisms. Less mycotoxin in corn. These are all different advantages of Bt crops. Summarily, we have studied need of pest resistance in crop protection, reason to target insect pests, bacillus thuringiensis facts, endotoxin produced by it, and about cry genes. Then their mode of action, then BT approach, and advantages of BT crops. Hope this particular lecture was useful to you. Thank you for listening.